Hi, welcome to a Katia V5 video tutorial. I want to do the airblade now in Katia. Let's start with our planes. One should be at 7.5, another one should be at 19.5, next one at 1 to 7, and another one at 147. Let's start with a sketch on this plane. Height as usual, the yellow projected elements. And this should be a rectangle. I don't want these constraints, so I will delete them. Give it dimensions. One this should be 13.2 this should be 20 and this should be symmetric to set axis and these should be symmetric to the y axis Okay, next sketch on this plane. I need a line. Okay, and this point and that line. Okay, midpoint. Now make this for construction only. The length should be 24. The angle should be 30. And I need two circles. One right here one over there okay this should be one this should be two then another two circles one two Diameter should be 50. Now let's move them a little bit. Maybe like this and like that. Okay. Now add some tangency. Then trim. Leave the sketch. I will make a copy of this one. Copy and just paste it onto that plane. Edit the sketch. Let's remove this one and go for where is it? Nope. Once, twice, this should 
the 16 and I need another circle and the diameter of this one should be 100 now let's move this one a little bit like this make it tangent once and twice then trim this and leave the sketch <clears throat> now let's start or maybe I should no let's start I need a multi-section surface so go for multi-section surface select this profile give it that plane as support then select this profile and give it that plane as support. Let's check the closing point should be replaced over here and change the direction. Go to coupling and couple those points from first profile to second profile first profile, second profile, first, second and confirm. Very nice. Now another multi-section surface from this one over here give it that surface as support to that one give it the plane as support so it will go normal to the plane now let's check the closing point in the direction direction is ok, closing point is ok now make a coupling from this point to that point from this one to that one and from this one right here that one and confirm very nice two possible ways to close this let's see which one I should use yeah so I need some points maybe I extract there's no propagation this element okay and another one this one okay let's hide those sketches and I need two points and their point as well so I will go for point and choose circles with ellipse center from this extract ok and from that extract 
Okay. Now let's make a sketch on that plane. Hide the yellow projected elements as usual. And I need a point. And this point should be coincident on that axis and on the other one as well. Leave the sketch and now make a plane with three points. One, two, and there should be another one which is not visible, it's this one. And okay. And then make a sketch on this plane. And I need an arc, so go for an arc, three point arc, from No, not from this point, but I have to intersect this extract and the other extract. Yes, and now let's make a three point arc from this point. that point and let's intersect that face and this face and give it some dimension, well, not dimensions, but constraints. This and uh, that one should be tangent. And this might be already is a constraint. Let's take a look. Yes, it is. So leave the sketch. Now make a multi section surface. Right now I don't care for my geometrical sets. So go for multi section surface. Use this extract. The other one. Change direction. That's okay. Give this one the surface as support. And the other one as well. And use as guide this curve and check. Very nice indeed. So let's go for our shading with edges. Now I will go for a full surface. Fill, take this edge and that edge. Give this one this surface as support and that one this surface as support. Confirm. Very nice. Same on the other side. Another fill with this edge. And that edge. Give this one the surfaces. No, not the plane, but the surfaces support. And the other one, the surfaces support. And see if it works. Very nice. Now I could. Join these surfaces so full, 
fill multi-section 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 and confirm now let's change to for a moment to part design and close the surface should be possible because that's a plain plan air boundary curve yes and hide the join seems I should hide these and that point as well okay now let's go back to generative shape design I need a sketch on that plane this should be a circle but first hide these elements now go for the circle diameter should be 25 and this point should be on that axis and on the other one as well leave the sketch make an extrude make it in both directions 6.6 .6. then fill this one okay and fill that one as well but give it this surface as support and the continuity is tangent so if you confirm you will get this nice dome so now let's join these surfaces okay go over to part design and close this last join right here okay now let's hide the join and hide planes And now I could do a circular pattern. With this, so go for a complete ground, two, and reference element is the y axis. And I want to pattern the current solid, so confirm. And I'm done. So Hope you enjoyed this one. If yes, give it a like or leave a comment down below. If you want to see more, let me know. See you to the next one. Bye bye.